And today, we're going to be making some akara. Now we're starting off with the basics, cleaning the beans. Okay. So when you first get the beans and everything, there's always little, little trash shards and all these little, you know, just unnecessary things that can really mess up your meal. So you want to get the beans out and then you want to start getting only the beans. Nothing more, nothing less, just the beans. Black eyed beans. And we're just cleaning the beans, as you can see. This can be a long process, but hey, it's up for a good meal. All right, y'all, we just finished cleaning the beans. Now we're gonna allow it to soak for 30 minutes. Uh, you need to hang tight, and we'll catch up with you in 30. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, y'all, this has been soaked for, you know, good 30 minutes. Now we're just, you know, cleaning out the black from the beans. Because this is Akara, and Akara, you need to take the black out the beans. All right, so come show them. Come show them how far we've gotten. You have to take out this. Let me show you. You see this? This needs to come out, come off the beans. So you simply, you simply just want to flick it, and then it comes off, just like that. Or you can just get a lot, and then grind it on your hand, and then it'll come off. All right, now that we have gotten a lot off, all we're gonna do now is get this in here, fill this up with water a little, and then I'm just gonna get that out. Get off the black. And then in the end, overall, you just want to get all the white and start adding it inside. And by the end of this, all the black will be off of the beans. So we'll get back to y'all when all the black is off the beans. All right, y'all. So we just got done cleaning the black off the beans. Come over here, see what I'm talking about. Look at that. All the black is off the beans. Now, my mom is very specific when it comes to, you know, getting the black off the beans. So, you know, we took our time to get all the black off the beans. And now we're gonna get to blending it with the Red Bull pepper, the jalapeno pepper, and the onions. And we'll see you there. All right, y'all. Now that y'all just seen this, you know, clean the black off the beans, as y'all can see again, we're gonna go ahead and blend it with three different ingredients. Onion, you know, I already cut it. Regular onion, you know what I'm saying? Onion. And two different types of pepper. Jalapeno pepper for its spices, to add spices to the acro and red bell pepper for flavor and for, you know, color. And we're gonna get, go ahead and get to, you know, blending it. <laughs> and the beans aside. So blend it. That's why we put don't, don't put it too much before it gets you know all liquid. You don't want it like that. Just put a little bit. I say that that much. You don't want it too water. All right. You gonna blend it. All right, y'all, now that, you know, I've been sitting here blending it, getting everything in, make sure everything's blended. We're on our last bit of blending. So let's go ahead and blend that, and I'll show you what to do after. We're gonna blend 
processing. See, the reason that it's more white now is because we didn't blend this one with the with the red bell pepper but you know once we start mixing it and blending it it will get red so just if y'all have any questions why it's white right now that's why Now, you know, to get, always to get your food some taste, you're gonna use salt. That's what you always use to get your food some taste. So yeah. You make sure when you add the salt, you know, you test it to, you know, make sure it's enough. So. Now that we're done blending the beans, what you wanna do is heat the oil. You don't want the oil too hot because it'll scatter everywhere, and you don't want it too cold because it'll get the grease and that'll just be bad. You want a reasonable amount, amount so it doesn't mess up. All right, y'all, now that it's been sizzling a little bit, we're gonna get to flipping it over and poking the hole so that the heat can get inside the acara and let it form a little bit better. All right, let's get to flipping it. All right, now that it's flipped, we're gonna get to poking the holes in it. By the end of this, your acara should be cooking and about ready to go. All right, y'all. This is the last bit of acara that we're frying. This is the ones that have already been done.
we'd like to hear with his cream of wheat, a mole meal. But our parents like to hear with acrimony. Alright y'all, we decided to just go with the muddle meal, you know, the old fashioned. So the way you're gonna make the muddle meal is first off adding just a little pinch of salt, just a little bit. Just a little bit, not too much. Not too much. Now I'm just gonna, you know, mix it in a bit. You're going to add the muddle meal. I promise you when you put it, you don't want to overdo it or else it'll get very thick. Now look, I'm just gonna put enough. About that much. And it looks like it's still gonna be watery, I know, but as you keep stirring, it'll get thicker and thicker and thicker. And if it's still not thick after I'd say a good two, three minutes of stirring, then add a little bit more, add more. And just because it's still watery doesn't mean keep adding it. I promise you, it's gonna turn into foo foo. That's exactly what's gonna happen. So if you want muddle meal, I, I don't put too much. Slowly, just getting thicker. All right, y'all. Done stirring. Oatmeal's gotten thick, and now breakfast is ready. This is why we make Nigerian after. We usually make this every other Saturday. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. We're gonna be putting more stuff than just cooking on this channel, so stay tuned for that, guys. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned. Bye, Bye guys. guys.